Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a video today basically to talk about this new brand Mirrorness that, well it's not, probably not a new brand, I'm sure it's been around for a while but I just heard of it because they contacted me and wanted to send me a bunch of products and I think they're from Australia. So this is the brand Mirrorness. Okay, it's an Australian brand and um, yesterday a huge box of stuff just um, arrived at my house and uh, let me see, I've got like just two... Um, Eyelash ex they're not they're not eyelash extensions, they're actually mascaras which are as good as eyelash extensions. So I can't wait to blog and really go into detail with it. But I'm actually using it today. I'm using quite a bit of the products today because I wanted to try it out and I thought it'd be great to show it to you on the video so you can see how I react to the product and stuff like that. So um yeah, there are two boxes. One is for lengthening, one is for volumizing. I'll talk about it in, in my blog. And then they've got a heated eyelash colour. I haven't gotten the batteries yet, so I haven't used this yet. And then um, this got this flawless revolution anti-aging 24 hour skin perfector and I'm actually using it now and I find it really really good on my skin. Um, it's actually a bit dark so I topped it off with my own foundation after that but um, immediately it covered up like almost, it covered up like majority of the minor flaws that you have so it's I really really do like this a lot. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can get um, more actually. Because I really like this a lot. I'm going to try using it on my clients as well. People who are maybe just slightly darker than me. Because they got me mocha and it's a little bit darker. But I actually can work with it. I think it's not too bad on my skin after applying my own foundation over it. And also, um, it came with eyeliner. I think it's in my drawer somewhere. And then, um, I got a lipstick and a lip gloss. And I'm using that today as well. And I'm just really, really loving it. I get really excited whenever I get products that... Um, I knew because I get to try them out. I'm also trying out um, the new Elizabeth Arden um, bronzer and highlighter which I am loving. I've been using this for the past one week non-stop. Loving, loving these products. Honestly amazing stuff. So um, anyway, today's tutorial is about this little... Um, it's got a bit of a cut crease I guess with a white, purple and green. I was actually... Um, I forgot where I was but I saw this flower arrangement and it was like... Um, it had like white flowers below and then purple on top and then green and I was like oh my god that's such a nice combination I've never done that before because honestly I'm running out of color combinations so I thought I just had to do it so this is it it's white purple and a bit of cut crease with green I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching bye bye I'm gonna start with the usual um, makeup forever aqua cream in white and this one just goes under the brows just here. And then next I'm gonna go for my Stella Prime Pot. Okay, and it's just um, a nice neutral colour, flesh tone colour, and this one just goes um, over my eyelid. White sugar pill. Okay, I'm starting with the white. Okay, I'm just using a regular flat brush, picking up the white, and I'm just gonna apply this to halfway to the eyelid. And you don't wanna apply it to the crease, just on the eyelid only. It's a really small brush. Any small brush should do actually. Anything that's small and just easy for you to really just cut the crease. And then I'm gonna go for black regular black and I'm just going to slowly cut the crease a little bit I'm going to go for a green just the green to add into the crease so I'm using more stiffer brush this is from Sephora over the black just to make it a bit more towards green. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it a little bit more. I'm going to go for um, a blending brush. This is the MAC 217. And I'm going to go for a lime green, any lighter green that you have that you can use to just blend it up. And 
I'm going to go for black with the small paper brush again and just really define the crease a little bit more. And then I'm going for a smaller brush. This one is MAC 230. Just a small flat shader brush. And I'm going to use the purple. This is the sugar pill purple, of course. Nice, very vibrant purple. And I'm just going to take that and fill in the remainder of the eyelid space. And basically just apply and blend everything together. Basically just filled in my eyebrows and did just a regular uh, thin pen uh, Eyeliner. Okay, and then what I'm going to do next is the lower bottom line. It's just a very basic uh, green eyeliner and relatively thick, not too thin. And I'm just going to line the bottom, yeah. my lower lash line. contour my face. You can see I did a lot of contouring on this side just so the face is a bit more slimmer. So I've got a really chubby face. And um, I'm using my favorite, current favorite, um, Elizabeth Arden, the new Pure Finish Bronze Powder. It comes in three shades. I blogged about it. And number one, I love the packaging. It's just so pretty. And it comes in three shades, which is why I love it. I'm using the darkest shade right now, just to contour. If I want to use it as an all over bronzer, I'll use number one actually. But just for the sake of contouring, because I really like to contour, I'm going to use number three. This is um, Deep Radiance. Okay. So I'm using my Real Techniques um, contour brush. I'm just going to pick up the color. And then I'm going to go for my blusher. I'm just applying one of my favorites, MAC um, Atelier Game from the Fabulous Feline Collection. And then I'm going to top it off with another favorite. These two are my current favorite from Elizabeth Arden and I'm crazy in love with them. Like seriously, the bronzers are amazing and this other stuff, oh, this is the highlighter. This is the Rose Illumination and it's so bloody pretty. I really don't know how to explain to you, but it's like this really shimmery, peachy, coral kind of glow, and it's so lovely. I really, really like it. So just like that. And I'm gonna just do the lips. I'm gonna very lightly line my lips with a pink lip liner. Very, very lightly, just to give a bit of definition to my lips. And I'm gonna go for this Mirrorness lipstick. The Mirrorness collection is so freaking cute. Like, they've got little diamond gems on them, on their product, so it's super, super cute. So, this one is um, the lipstick. It's called the Forever Lipstick. Color is pretty sheer. It's a nice pink color, but it's not very, very opaque. So, I like it. I just realized it's got a really nice smell. It's a very familiar smell. I'm not too sure what smell that is. Uh, it just glides on so smoothly. I feel like I'm just literally just using water on my lips. And I think it's got a bit of a menthol flavor as well. This is actually my first time using it. Um, all I did was I just swatched it yesterday, so I haven't really used it in particular. So this is my first time using it. I thought I'll do it in the video so you can capture my emotions. Um, yeah, I think it's got a bit of a minty flavor to it. But a very nice smell, familiar smell. Just can't get hold. I don't, I don't know what smell it is, but... Yeah, it's just so creamy. I love it. Okay, and then I'm going to top it off with this gloss, Mariners Gloss. And this is the Velvet Lip Moisture Shine. It's a very pretty color. It looks really frosty and 
you know, very strong, but it's actually super sheer. I swatched it as well yesterday, and it's really nice. Yeah, so that's it. Um, pretty dramatic on the eyes, and I just thought I'll try out the mirror stuff and let you guys see it as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.